even the darkest of futures can have a bright potential. So, what you think? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Cyberpunk 2077 trailer moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most awesome moments from the first look gameplay demo for CD Projekt Red's upcoming futuristic RPG. Always clear. Go! Number 10. The Character Creation Screen Going a different route from the set-in-stone protagonist Geralt of The Witcher series, Cyberpunk offers players a deep and diverse customization system for their character. While similar to the menus from Fallout or Saints Row, up until now, many people have been asking just how customizable the main character, V, would be. So the inclusion of this screen in the gameplay demo answers a lot of questions. There's a range of face types, races, hairstyles, and even a scars tab, so you can be sure your character looks sufficiently badass. But on top of that, you can also pick a backstory and customize your starting skill points. Number 9. Getting into Jackie's car. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Jackie suggests that V use her fancy new eyeball, more on that later, to get a look at his souped up sports car. Unlike in The Witcher 3, where you're confined to only ride around on Roach and many other RPGs which don't even feature vehicles, the demo narrator tells us that Cyberpunk will offer a wide variety of cars and bikes to use. Number 8. Van Shootout This does not look good. And speaking of the exciting driving and vehicle system, the demo also showed a fast and fluid car chase and shootout from V's perspective as she climbs out of the window to get a better shot. A van cuts them off and proceeds to open fire, hopefully not causing too much damage to Jackie's ride. The high-speed, beautifully choreographed and animated shootout is a short but sweet moment. Despite how quickly it's over, we can't wait to see what they have in store in the finished game. Hopefully, way longer and more exhilarating chases beneath the California sun. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Number 7. Hacking the Maelstrom Ganger Guard, Let's try something different. Tommy, We're going to take this guy down nah, and connect directly to his neural sun. After an exhilarating and varied firefight, the demo switches to show us what Cyberpunk stealth takedowns will look like, in case you want your experience to be more Metal Gear than Halo. Far from just knocking unconscious one generic enemy, subsequently jacking into him will plug you into the Maelstrom's entire network, giving you full access to their personnel. Hacking one person will allow players to affect and inflict damage on everybody else connected. While we don't get a specific preview on what these abilities will be, the promise of them is enough to whet anyone's appetite. Number 6. Corporate Agent Interrogates V Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Attempting to get an edge over her Maelstrom opponents, V opts for what most of us would consider the smart option of trying to get additional intel from a Militech corporate agent, or Corpo, beforehand. Unfortunately for her, this doesn't go as planned. But wanted... And she ends up accused of blackmail and on the wrong end of a brief but nasty interrogation. But it's here that we get a look at one of the most unique dialogue features we've ever seen, where the player is hacked and other characters can see whether or not they are lying. Choose your next words carefully. She's lying. Search the area. Number 5. Getting the new eye augmentation. V visits her Ripper Doc, which is the coolest name for a medical specialist in any game to date, to get a couple of new Deus Ex style augmentations. Though admittedly, this guy is more like a tattoo artist than a doctor. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> it's one of the rare moments where getting your eye removed and then replaced is basically painless. And aside from not having to put up with any screaming, seeing a pseudo third person view from the disconnected eyeball is pretty interesting. This eye is also outfitted with a scanner and handy zoom feature, and V also gets a grip which shows how much ammo is left in her weapon and gives her bonus damage. Number 4. Fighting Royce It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. The Maelstrom gang are already freaky enough with their LED faces and desire to become more machine than man, but when you combine their psychotic leader Royce with an alien-style mechanical exoskeleton, 
the fight gets even riskier. It shows off how the environment can be used to the player's advantage, with NPC sidekick Jackie flipping a car to protect against Royce's bullets, and V doing all kinds of bullet time slides, double jumps, and dashes to avoid his heavy firepower. It's a tricky business, but with some skill, Royce's shield runs down, and he's able to be defeated like any standard miniboss. Number 3. Mantis Blades Given that this was just one quick preview of a high-level upgrade in a work in progress, we're dying to see what other cybernetic melee mods will be available in the final release. Equipping yourself with two enormous metal blades, which then allow you to attach and climb metal walls, is a hugely inventive way to mix up the gameplay. Stealthily crawling through the environment, quick hacking your enemies, and then jumping to take them down is like a first-person version of the Batman Arkham games, only with lethal and satisfyingly brutal takedowns. Nice. Number 2. Ricochet Bullets One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. Switching up the playstyle to show gamers the wide opportunities they'll have when creating their character build, we get to see a ricochet bullet mechanic straight out of a Deadshot comic book. As the visual mods allowing the player to see the bullet's angles and trajectory, players can accurately target their shots to hit enemies behind even the best cover. The targeting arc even changes color to red when you've got a clear line of fire. Coupled with the fact that you can see and shoot through walls with certain weapon types, there's nowhere for the enemies to hide. Number 1. Stepping out into the streets Stand clear. Landing. We get our first small glimpse of the open world after the trauma team shows up to rescue Sandra, and then through the window of V's apartment. But the moment we truly enter Night City's vast crowd is not something any gamer is going to forget anytime soon. She steps out into this bustling, colorful metropolis as the game's logo appears in the sky, fully emphasizing the focus they have on all aspects of the world design. The narrator explains that the game is going to have the most believable city in any open world game to date. And honestly, after seeing this demo, we're inclined to believe him. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.